uh, nice out there right now. How's the rest of the day looking, Pete? We're looking good, Patrick. We, of course, were mentioning that offshore storm pretty much the entire week. That continues to remain offshore, so that is great news if you have outdoor plans today or throughout the rest of the week. And in fact, here is what I'm tracking. Another trend you will notice is that we'll be keeping our cool for the next several days. No big warm-ups in sight on the seven-day future cast. We do have some slightly milder and muggier air approaching next week. However, that may come with some rain, so that could prevent the temperatures from taking off all that much. Promising weekend with a few extra clouds at times. Cool temperatures. Other than that, though, we're looking good. You know, it's still a close call in terms of uh, that storm off to our south. We could see a little bit of drizzle if maybe you have plans to head to the uh, Cape, Martha's Vineyard, or Nantucket with some extra cloud cover there. But most of our viewing areas should remain dry. And then I was mentioning the chance of some rain next week. That would be Tuesday and Wednesday, showers and thunderstorms. In fact, it looks like that would be our next chance for more widespread rain. In the meantime, things are looking rather comfortable. This is terrific news for those uh, people that still do not have power. At least the AC really won't be needed very much the next several days. Now dew points are in the upper 50s. They stay in the upper 50s tomorrow and go up into the upper 50s to low 60s by Sunday. So maybe a tad more humid to end the weekend, but really nothing unbearable. And on the eyewitness news threat tracker, I'm going to keep you in the low category for today, tomorrow and into Sunday as well as we don't have any severe weather for the short term. How about these temperatures? 56 right now in Coventry, 61 Smithfield, 59 in Agret, 61 Westerly and 63 in Newport. So maybe a, a warm coffee kind of morning, although we could be moving to the iced coffee later on the afternoon as some of those temperatures approach around 80. Winds are out of the north right now at 7 miles an hour. Some of the rest of our pinpoint weather network checking in with 65 in Tiverton. We are 61 just down the road from our studios in Seekonk. So notice the pattern of the clouds. They are moving to the south. Showers remain offshore, so these clear skies off to our north and west. This is what we're tracking to move in for the afternoon. And then we have another wave of energy once we get through this one that will move off the mid-Atlantic for the weekend. That will also stay down to ourselves. So other than a few clouds from time to time, it's really not that much of a factor for our weather this weekend. It will create those breezes out of the east and northeast into the afternoon, and that will have a cooling effect, especially along the uh, West Bay and at the coast with those high temperatures in the 70s. 83 in Woonsocket, 83 in Burville. So you get away from the water and temperatures should be able to make it into the low 80s. Eastern Massachusetts, cooler in Plymouth with, with that easterly flow off the cooler Atlantic Ocean. And we'll look for around 80 Middleton, seven, Middletown, 79 Little Compton, and 82 in Seekonk. At the beach, a pretty nice day. Mid-70s, mostly sunny skies, safe sun time around 10 to 15 minutes. And in the seven-day future cast, you'll notice a similar day on the way for tomorrow with partly sunny skies. A few extra clouds in the afternoon, especially in northwest Rhode Island. And you also may see a few extra clouds during the morning at the coast. But pretty cool and comfortable throughout the weekend with uh, some showers possible next week. You can always get an updated future cast and take it with you on your mobile device. You can download that from WPRI.com. Now it's time for some jam cam traffic with Gina Brown. Hey, Gina. Hey, Pete. So we're looking